dunking them pretty much submerged. Like the Lakers. Yeah, like the Lakers. Dunk it. Dunk them and keep them under water or dunk under, like under the dunk, solution for at least. Head. That's right. You keep them under, you choke them, and you hold them under that water, and then you just choke them. I would say and for at least sap. a few minutes up to a couple hours you can do this too. And that will ensure and maybe do it to them like turn off some of the light or dim the light or turn off your uh, HPS or your HID light and just turn on like a small light in the room so you can work so that they're not soaking in this solution while they're trying to grow. And that's going to be the way you're going to want to hit them after that go every three to five days for at least two weeks of flushing it through the top of the cubes thoroughly and hopefully you'll make it through. Those things can be a total bitch. And I live in Southern California where you do too and they're very prevalent around here. Yeah, get some uh, pine sap and line the top of that cocoa and you'll get those bugs no problem. Pine <laughs> yeah. sap's the best. Yeah, don't, <laughs> JC, don't <laughs> use <laughs> pine sap <laughs> on top of your medium. Yeah, no, JC, pine good. sap is whack. All right, thanks, guys. Hey, check it out, JC. Where do you shop at, buddy? At Cerritos Hydro. Cerritos Hydro, right on, playa. Yeah. Those Bobby guys are. And Greg, for my boys. Nice. Oh. Those guys are putting in work promoting our show, and we do appreciate it. So what I'm going to do for you is we have a pint of the SNS 203 for you, waiting at Cerritos Hydro in the next couple of days, and I'm going to throw in a 250 milliliter of Rock Resonator. So once you get rid of those root aphids, you can make sure that um, your quality is off the charts. 